uh, know that those are the anchor booths. And right at 9 o'clock, you're going to hear them all go on the air. Step up and be my co-chairman and partner in this endeavor, Mr. Mike McCurry. No noise except right now, as we welcome the Democratic nominee for president, Secretary Clinton, and the Republican nominee for president, Mr. Trump. Secretary Clinton, Mr. Trump, welcome. Let's get right to it. The we have 11 million undocumented people. They have 4 million American citizen children. 15 million people. He said as recently as a few weeks ago in Phoenix that every undocumented person would be subject to deportation. Now here's what that means. It means you would have to have a massive law enforcement presence where law enforcement officers would be going school to school home to home, business to business, rounding up people who are undocumented. And we would then have to put them on trains, on buses to get them out of our country. I think that is a, an idea that is not in keeping with who we are as a nation. I think it's an idea that would rip our country apart. I have been for border security for years. I voted for border security in the United States Senate. And my comprehensive immigration reform plan, of course, includes border security. But I want to put our resources where I think they're most needed, getting rid of any violent person, anybody who should be deported, we should deport them. When it comes to the wall that Donald talks about building, he went to Mexico, he had a meeting with the Mexican president, didn't even raise it, he choked, and then got into a Twitter war because the Mexican president said, we're not paying for that wall. So I think we are both a nation of immigrants and we are a nation of laws and that we can act accordingly. And that's why I'm introducing comprehensive immigration reform within the first 100 days with a path to citizenship. Thank you, Secretary Clinton. I want to follow Chris, up. I, I think it's, I, okay. think I should respond to them. First of all, I had a very good meeting with the president of Mexico, very nice man. Uh, we will uh, be doing very much better with Mexico on trade deals, believe me. Uh, the NAFTA deal signed by her husband is one of the worst deals ever made of any kind, signed by anybody. It's a disaster. Hillary Clinton wanted the wall. Hillary Clinton fought for the wall in 2006 or thereabouts. Now, she never gets anything done, so naturally the wall wasn't built. But Hillary Clinton wanted the wall. Well, let me. We no, are wait, a country sir, let me, of laws. Let me. Let me have, and, and by the way, I, no wait. I'd like to hear from. Well, but I'd like to hear from. Sec, I'd like to hear from Secretary Clinton. I voted for border security, and there are and uh, some. There are some limited places where that was appropriate. There also is necessarily going to be new technology and how best to deploy that. Uh, but it is clear when you look at what Donald has been proposing. He started his campaign bashing immigrants, calling Mexican immigrants rapists and criminals and drug dealers, uh, that he has a very different view about what we should do to deal with immigrants. Now, what I am also arguing is that bringing undocumented immigrants out from the shadows, putting them into the formal economy will be good because then employers can't exploit them and undercut Americans' wages. And Donald knows a lot about this. He used undocumented labor to build the Trump Tower. He underpaid undocumented workers, and when they complained, he basically said what a lot of employers do. You complain, I'll get you deported. I want to get everybody out of the shadows, get the economy working, and not let employers like Donald exploit undocumented workers, which hurts them, but also hurts American workers. Mr. Trump. Uh, President Obama has moved millions of people out. Nobody knows about it, nobody talks about it, but under Obama, millions of people have been moved out of this country. They've been deported. She doesn't want to say that, but that's what's happened, and that's what's happened big league. Uh, as far as moving these people out and moving we either have a country or we don't. We're a country of laws. We either have a border or we don't. Now, you can come back in and you can become a citizen, but it's very unfair. We have millions of people that did it the right way. They're online, they're waiting. We're gonna speed up the process bigly because it's very inefficient, but they're online and they're waiting to become citizens. Very unfair that somebody runs across the border, becomes a citizen. Under her plan, you have open borders. You would have a disaster on trade and you will have a disaster with your open borders. Thank you.
mischaracterization. We will have secure borders, but we will also have reform. And this used to be a bipartisan issue. Ronald Reagan was the last president to sign immigration reform, and George W. Bush supported it as well. Secretary Clinton, I want to clear up your position on this issue because in a speech you gave to a Brazilian bank for which you were paid $225,000, we've learned from the WikiLeaks that you said this, and I want to quote, my dream is a...